This $6 made in China bike bell could cost $9.60 if additional tariffs proposed by Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump becomes reality. We're doing tariffs on other countries. Other countries are going to finally, after 75 years, pay us back for all that we've done for the world. And the tariff will be substantial in some cases. Meaning Chinese-made products will be hit with as much as a 60 percent tariff under Trump's plan. He also says he will implement blanket tariffs of up to 20 percent on all other countries. Both Trump and the Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris say they want to bring jobs back to the U.S. A policy about China should be in making sure the United States of America wins the competition for the 21st century. The Biden administration kept most of the import taxes put in place during Trump's presidency. In May, Biden announced further tariff increases on $18 billion worth of Chinese imports, including a 100 percent import tax on Chinese electric vehicles. The Biden administration says its tariffs are more strategic, aimed at specific industries, and that Trump's import tax takes on a broader approach that will cost a middle-class American household $4,000 more a year. Other estimates are in the range of around $2,000. Trump says consumers won't be impacted. Who's going to have higher prices is China and all of the countries that have been ripping us off for years. But Chinese businesses are not the ones paying the import taxes, explains supply chain expert Christopher Tang. During the election years, everyone is promising the moon. But the truth of the matter is that the import tariffs are paid by the U.S. firms. So for an imported Chinese-made TV purchased at Costco, it's Costco that pays the import tax. When companies is facing high import tariffs, they have two uh, buttons to push. One is pass the high import costs to the consumers. The other one is squeeze the Chinese factories to lower the price. Tang says the risk of pushing Chinese companies to lower the price is poor product quality. Import taxes may mean fewer Made in China labels printed, but that doesn't mean that there are fewer imports coming from China. They'll just have a label from a different country, says Tang. China actually shipped a lot of components and parts to Vietnam, to India for final assembly. And those end products actually is still importing uh, into the U.S. as well. So therefore, the total effect of on China they still actually export more, but they're not exporting to U.S. directly. The World Trade Organization finds tariffs disproportionately affect low-income households, which means a $9.60 bike bell may be out of reach for some consumers if a 60 percent import tax is slapped on to Chinese-made products. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Washington.